grand jury will get the case of the man accused in the shooting death of one man and the wounding of an MPD officer during a shootout. All of this happening on November 7th in Westmobile. A detective testifying today. The standoff ended only after a canine unit attacked the defendant and police returned fire, hitting him three times. Frankston News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby on the story for us today. He joins us now live from Metro. And Brendan, you talked to the victim's family. Yeah, that's right. I did Byron and Lanise, and they had to hear some really difficult testimony, including that the defendant allegedly shot their loved one in the face at close range. It started with a domestic dispute on Bryant Street, according to a Mobile police detective. Zachary Hanna's ex-girlfriend told police the defendant had punched and choked her and was trying to prevent her from leaving. The woman's brother, 31-year-old Matthew Richardson, came to help her gather belongings at a storage shed on the property. Detective Rory Graves testified that Hanna pointed a 12-gauge shotgun at the woman and pulled the trigger. But the gun jammed. He then turned the gun on Richardson, according to Detective Graves. This time, the gun fired, hitting Richardson in the face. He was dead by the time police arrived. The victim's father, Maurice Richardson, says it was difficult testimony to hear, but he says he's hopeful justice will be served. I think it's heading in the right direction. I appreciate everybody doing what they've done. Found out a lot of information about this today that was. I guess not brought to light to begin with. According to testimony, the shooting started a chain reaction that included a desperate manhunt that lasted several hours. Hannah ran into the woods and at one point shot a police officer in the legs, according to the testimony. Hannah ran back into the woods. Detective Julius Nettles testified that the defendant pointed the gun at a resident in the neighborhood and threatened to shoot him. Here's surveillance video of that. Officers finally took him down after a shootout in which he suffered three gunshot wounds and bite from a police dog. Richardson's stepmother and stepfather expressing anguish at their loss. It's just heartbreaking to see a life taken like this with a child that doesn't have a father anymore. He finally got him a good job, you know, doing good for himself. And his life took him for no reason. I'm just trying to help his sister. According to the testimony, Hannah admitted that he shot Richardson, but said he did so only after the victim grabbed at his gun in his back pocket. His lawyer, meanwhile, declining to comment after today's hearing. Reporting live from Metro Jail, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.